I don't know that I'm exemplary on the way that I keep my files, but um, keeping backups is obviously always pretty important. And in my early days, I had a pretty bad disaster with, well, it was when you still kept things on floppy disks. And although I had two copies, I kept them in the same room. And one day a cleaner came in and there was a water heater in this room and they left it on and the thermostat wasn't working and the whole room got filled with intense steam and all the discs kind of turned to sog because they've got cardboard in the middle and uh, that was quite a lot of months of data just went in one go. So um, it's not... I mean, you could have the equivalent, obviously, if you've got it all in the one computer and you for have some sort of cataclysmic thing. So keeping stuff in different places. I mean, that's less of an issue now that you've got the web and, the you know, people keep, um, you know, so if you keep stuff in a cloud or whatever. <laughs> but um, it's still worth thinking about. It's amazing how, I mean, I only back up my stuff once a week. Um, because I personally don't use a managed desktop, so it's not backed up every day. And then there might be the odd week when I don't do it. So, you know, that's bad practice. Actually, as well, I'm not careful about checking backups. I think you can't always assume that these backup softwares work. And I have heard horror stories sometimes about people believing their stuff was backed up. And then when they really needed it they, found it, they found that actually not everything they thought was backed up was backed up. So I think it is very important to really understand your software. And I'm not always as good as I should be on that because it's kind of on my conscience, this issue at the moment, because I'm using a backup program that is relatively new because I've got one of those new external drives. So yes, lots to think about there, I think. I just have separate project-specific folders and within them I'd have separate folders for transcripts, um, for notes. I always, if I'm doing interviews, I always make a summary note immediately afterwards about anything that struck me in the interview. And then I'll have another note after I've listened again to the tape and looked over the transcript. Because I'm in a f I've got some funding for most of my projects, I tend not to do my own transcribing, but I always read the transcript listening to the tape um, because even the best transcriber always makes mistakes and so then you have to correct the transcript. And that's quite a good occasion for making another note that's a summary. Um, it might be a pressy or it might be a more analytic thing, depending on what you're doing. So those notes would go in, in the in maybe in a separate folder within the project folder um, and I just try to keep the file names linked usually based on the pseudonym. Um, oh, it's, I think it's quite important to keep tracks of dates when you've done things as well so um, when I'm doing writing I would probably have a date in the in the file convention but I think you just adopt your own procedures for these things, but it's important to try and just stick in systematically um, so that you don't confuse yourself and you can find things relatively easily.